like a pine tree. I thought it was for the sun. Now I see that you should actually wear oh, long pants. Fuck. Dá para preencher de qualquer lugar? First day adventures. Yeah, to sing all the rivers on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the consequences. No, I hope for <laughs> the best. <laughs> we don't know what that is. They might nest, maybe. Termites! Don't! Termites eat wood? There's no wood here. Uh, I don't know, but maybe from the trees. Mm -hmm. We're about halfway through the first day. Yeah, it hasn't been raining much. Um, only some droplets. It's easy, especially because we are not carrying <laughs> anything. That's true. Our, our backpack carriers. Yeah. yeah, two of them stayed behind. The natives, they burned the grass to mark the trail. Wait, that's sick. Mud. <laughs> yeah, but it was burned, now it's into the mud. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there's some animal on me. Oh. I have my socks. Ah, you have socks. I don't know. Oh fuck. Same. Makeup was good. Okay, I'll be back. I will <laughs> remove my socks and try. Uh, we just left. The forest. Yeah, so it's a little forest in the middle of the savannah. The climate, there's really the trees. It's really nice in there, but we got out of it now and there's a lot of mosquitoes now. We took our. <laughs> we have to move. <laughs> okay, but my socks are. A little bit wet from the grass. Are there any of your socks, the state of them? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll be commenting the smell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same for your armpits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh. Is that what? Yeah. Yeah, that sure. there's mosquitoes eating it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Climb, climb. Oh, look at her! Oh! Oh, really oh wait, that's not it. It's the one oh, on the right, yeah. the right side. Yeah. It's really covered in clouds. Lots of rain. Can you pretend I know it's right here, handle me? Some ants, I think it's on my lap. Don't. Yeah, it's not for the sand. It was nice. It was like a black one. I didn't see the name. I don't know. Yeah, but, but it tastes like a smoky, meaty taste. And a little bit of peanut. It was 
good. We already ate some ants at uh, an indigenous restaurant. Um, in Manaus, we ate like two different types of ants already, so we're experienced ant eaters. <laughs> <laughs> the indigenous people, they like, for this type of ant, they wait for the period of rain and then the period when the rain stops, and they take over the ant with their hands. And like, they have to do it so they don't bite, you know, the ants bite, so they just like pick them up their hands and then they try them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Now we can finally see Roraima. It's the one on the right. Ah, yeah. yeah, this one has a waterfall. The thing on the right it only happens in the uh, like the rainy season. So it's like a temporary waterfall, and it's like really tall. I forgot how much. Like eight hundred meters tall. Yeah, but we're getting super close, like for the first day. I wasn't expecting it. Roraima was really far. One hour and a half, uh, just about, to get to the camping site. Um, so yeah. Day two. Good morning. This is the bathroom. A little tent. yourself and wear your socks yeah yeah okay. so we crossed the second river actually it was a joining of two rivers and now the scenery looks a little bit different and our next stop is a waterfall where we're finally gonna take a shower finally yeah yesterday a lot of mosquitoes it was already dark uh, there was a river <laughs> There's a river next to the campsite, but it was cold and mosquitoes and <laughs> we're gonna take a bath today. A shower today. The two mountains, Roraima, here on the right, already being to be covered by clouds. And the other the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the other one you can climb too. It's also a seven day excursion, but uh, you have to get special permission from the, the chief of the indigenous village. It's like Roraima is associated with the good energy spirits and the other one with the bad ones, like the yin and yang. So there was actually a case where like a boy went missing 
um, there was a guy, the guy that went there without a guide, indigenous guide, and his like child went missing. So always make sure to get permission from the from the indigenous people and get a guide. And today already we're gonna be at the foot of the mountain, and tomorrow we're gonna be climbing up the ramp, and we'll finally make it to the top. Second day lunch, I already started eating it because like we were surprised. Uh, hmm. We were doing the trail and we stayed like a little bit back to rest. We were just like here on the rocks and the military base is nearby. So like they, they brought us lunch here on the trail <laughs> and they just showed up with bowls. But it's like a mayonnaise salad, it's like vegetables. Russian, Russian salad. Yeah, like a Russian salad. Yeah, and mayo with mayo and some, some bread and some fresh pineapple. Bon appetit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Still drinking water from the source on adulterated and no side effects. <laughs> so we're getting pretty close to the, the mountain. About one hour. I hope. My legs are destroyed. Yeah, just a few more hills. Until <laughs> we're at the campsite. Today is pretty hard. It's like 10 kilometers, but it's a lot of climbing and my back hurts. But if you don't have back problems, you'll be fine. Yeah, and if you have like proper oh legging. Yeah, and if you have pants and light leggings like recommended, you will not be hurt. On your legs. <laughs> Let's go. Go to a Power Ranger. What a base. So tomorrow we're going to be zigzagging up the top and up that ramp. So today we are like cooking here on the second day of camp. We are preparing dinner for us. Mm. So nice. Some plantains um, and a uh, plate full of mosquitoes. <laughs> Meat, mm -hmm. beef, platanas, Good. and mosquitoes <laughs> flying around.
so close to the wall. So we're gonna keep continuing up. Eventually get up there. Gorgeous here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Refreshing. Oh, closer and closer. It's pretty hot when you're climbing, so it's really refreshing. So this is the waterfall we're going to cross. So let's go. this side Tá bom. Mas o coração tem lágrimas, tem que ter a gente tem que estar sempre pendente porque Oh, oh, mama. Llegamos. Yay. Ah, gracias. Ah, ¿dónde está el amarillo? Finella. It's the name of this fish. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey. Taking my bath up today. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we are almost like like this quicksand mud here that I stepped into and I... Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> the third campsite on the top of Mount Naraima. Always get some snacks. Today we have some crackers with Grandma. guava. I'm already wearing my hoodie. <laughs> hmm. Huh?
Vai comigo? <laughs> Crazy trees. Tudo feito de foto surda para segurar o segurado. Oh oh! <laughs> Oh. É ela quem gruda os uhum. insetos.
Yeah, I'm shaking. Look who's this. <laughs> yeah. <fear> not. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Put your hands. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I'll shake less if you put it down. <laughs> Crystals. Ooh. Like this. <laughs> I okay. don't want to wet my clothes. That's so <laughs> okay. Eu tô vendo o ninho, mas eu não tô vendo. Tá assim. Uh. <laughs> This sounds like creepy. Não cai não, senão eu não chego no acampamento. Por favor. <risos> Can you see the waterfall? Oh wow! Ah, podia ir com coisa na minha cabeça. Se cair, você nunca mais vai pegar. Esse óculos aí, se cair, tá tranquilo. <laughs> wow. Good morning. This is the day we're going to climb down. Uh, Looks like it's gonna be pretty slippery and wet. And I think we never mentioned this, but Vinny, uh, she climbed the whole mountain in flip flops, Havaianas, and <laughs> me in Crocs. So mm -hmm. it's definitely doable. Uh, it's definitely doable uh, when it's raining a little bit. We're gonna see if coming down when it's raining a little bit more is also doable. Yeah, I want like a sponsorship also. Havaianas give me like, a new pair. Yes. <laughs> Crocs. Crocs. <laughs> give us Crocs and more gibbets. <laughs> more gibbets of Mount Roraima. <laughs>
passage of the tears much more than the other day. Passed it. It's the waterfall we crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Much different experience when it's raining through there. Wow! <laughs> it's a whole path. Yeah, this is a great trip. So many different biomes, it's like four different trips in one. And if it's raining when you're climbing and dry when you're coming down, it's also different or vice versa, like here. <laughs> my, my, uh, my knee hurts, I hurt my knee, so coming down. Descending is difficult, more difficult for me than it's climbing. Yeah, so make sure you bring your pharmacy, home pharmacy with uh, pain relievers, band-aids, 
Yes. Ah, another river. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and also, if you don't like to hike through rivers and waterfalls, the dry season here is January and February. So it, it, it's probably nice. When, when you start to walk, it's fine, but like right at the beginning, it's cold and rainy, you know? <laughs> Or bring like a waterproof jacket. Bring like a warm raincoat. Because these raincoats that we have are kind of crap. And they don't warm us at all. This is the path, right? Alright. <laughs> wow. So many new waterfalls <laughs> and river. I don't know which way the trail is. <laughs> Straight? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it. I think so. Uh, <laughs> The river. Vinny would take the path, he would <laughs> slide down the river. <laughs> Maybe he'd arrive first. It's going down, right? <laughs> yeah. Muddy, muddy. <laughs> Another river, waterfall. All right. Oh, okay, we have to start. No, let's slide down it. It <laughs> looks faster. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I don't think so. It's okay. I think I guess that this is the trail. <laughs> okay. You had it. Ah! Alright, we found our guide, so we're on the right trail. There's another. Waterfall here. <laughs> oh, I think we passed by this waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. But like this whole forest, it's flooded. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's this ecosystem. Yay. We're gonna go down already. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Ooh, 
Oof. Muddy foot. Ow! <laughs> uh, hit my head. Ah! Uh, that's tranquil. Yeah. Here's a viewpoint. If the skies were a little bit clearer, maybe we could see how much we have to go still. But I think we're getting pretty close. And yeah. Today we're hiking all the way. No, this is actually like pretty nice. Hi. The temperature is alright. It's a little bit rainy, but it's fine. But today we're hiking all the way back to the campsite from the first day. So it's six kilometers now that we're doing um, descending Mount Roraima. And then it's gonna be 10 more kilometers um, from base camp to the, yeah, the, ah, the first campsite. I love all these plants. They're so cool. There's so many different species here that you don't find anywhere else in the world. If you're a plant lover, like me, <laughs> I really recommend. We were close already. This looks like the, the forest at the hill of the mountain. I think it's like still really misty. Like Tarzan. Chewing, chewing, chewing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna fall. Stop <laughs> mm, like that. and waterfalls we crossed. Alrighty. Hmm. Ah, down the river, okay. Could it be the end of the descent? I think not. It's a little bit more to... I hear a waterfall. Oh no. I think we're higher than I thought. <laughs> My knees are like weak. They're giving out. <laughs> and another river. the camping this is the place to take the bath at the camping site so we are washing our socks <laughs> and our legs we didn't bring soap it's with our backpack carrier uh, so this is this is our bath for 
today, <laughs> just from the knees down. <laughs> So the camera battery died, but this is basically it. <laughs> the second half of our hike today. It looks a lot different than the other day. Uh, because of the rain, everything is like flooding. So <laughs> we're basically walking through this river. Many rivers today. Yeah, and um, we're also going to cross the river that we crossed on uh, the second day. So we're gonna see, it should be a lot bigger <laughs> uh, because of this quantity of rain. You can break your foot here, this is like a hole in between. Oh, oh be careful. <laughs> Cross the river. Yeah, we're not crossing the river. I'm gonna crossing the river. It's better than last night, but it's still much harder than the first time. So we crossed the second river. I gained a cane because I am now the last day crippled. <laughs> no, not, not so crippled, but uh, yeah, my knee is really tired of like descending so much. Yeah. <laughs> but we passed the river. The day is beautiful. Not sunny, but it's not raining. But it doesn't matter because I like wet my whole pants crossing the river. <laughs> the level was like my waistline. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing pants again because the the grass, the grass that cuts legs, is here. And just for you to understand, like yesterday I wore pants. This is the grass that cut my legs. Like. All the parts of my pants, like my seams are like <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> so don't wear pants that you like on the first two days and the last two days. Gonna walk a little bit slower. <laughs> uh, actually didn't expect to have any problems with my knee. I had like, I went to the chiropractor. I don't know if I'm giving all this personal information, but I went to the chiropractor and I had like the hip misalignment thing. And then after that, my legs were really weak and the chiropractor told me not to walk any trails because my hip could <laughs> come <laughs> <laughs> My hip could go back to its original place and stuff. But actually, like, my hip is fine and, like, my back is fine for the most... I just had back pain one of the days. But I don't think it was from my hip. But I never expected my knee to go out. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that was like a lack of preparation because I really I haven't walked any trails ever since uh, the chiropractor and stuff which has been like six months yeah but tons of people do the, the Mount Roraima trip and there's like there's people from eight years old to 80 years old so if you're in bad shape like don't worry <laughs> and the guides will like take care of you there's always going to be someone behind you and in front of you to give you help and you just go at your own pace gorgeous view it's raining again <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our last dry clothes. Actually, no, I, I, I already put on uh, wet clothes this morning. The only dry clothes is the clothes we have to sleep in. Uh, but we're approaching the second river that we're going to cross today. So we'll see how that goes. It's pretty slippery here too. It's, the stick is really helpful. The 
the place we passed the river was there the last time, but it looks like we're going up the river a little bit, uh, probably because of the currents. We're walking through this trail of the grass that cuts legs. <laughs> Of this, of this it looks like there's traffic on the river. There's a ton of people trying to cross. Today we're hiking the 15 kilometers back to where we began and then we're gonna take the four-wheel drive back to Santa Elena and then the drive back to Brazil to Roraima, Boa Vista. And wow this campsite has a lot of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Beer cans, disgusting, who did this? Who did this? <clears throat> but a little bit more about Roraima. So we heard a lot of different stories from our tour guides, um, like indigenous stories that Roraima, inside of the mountain, they're like light workers or the spirits working for the good of the whole planet. And uh, the other mountain, Kukaima. Kukaima? No, I don't remember. But the other one has the bad, not like the more dense energy. Um, so that mountain has like a lot of like kind of crazy stories, and you need to get permission to to climb it. But Verima, in the past, um, there's like you've seen, there's many crystals, quartz crystals there on the top. And in the past, there were a lot more. But um, people visiting the mountains, they were like taking them so now there's a lot less than in the past but in the past when there was a full moon at night you could see the light reflecting from the top of Roraima which I think is like so magical um, yeah it's really a shame that you really can't see that anymore um, yeah and there's like many different stories and like myths and legends um, like some of them about like the caves uh, being on the top um, that have the type of birds harpia that only exists in like three different places in the world well they don't exist here anymore but yeah really you should you should go on this trip and your guide will really provide myths and stories um, about this place um, there's also like the different types of spirits that are associated like with the mountains there's one with the the rivers there's one yeah so much so much stories so much magic so much energy here it's really an incredible experience also if you're worried about walking so much um, there's the option to take a motorcycle to the first uh, camping spot which is the trail that we're taking today the 15 kilometers so it costs about 200 hash really? which okay. is yeah 
it's it's forty dollars to take the motor motorcycle yeah there's also like some some guy who had heart problems who made it to the top and he took a helicopter down and i don't remember how much that is that was <laughs> yeah you can have a backpack carrier they can actually carry you and it like depends on your weight um but i believe it's the same cost as um like <laughs> per kilo as your as your belonging so like 15 kilos is 150 um which in today's day is about yeah 30 dollars so if you weigh like 45 it's 90 dollars per day and then you i guess like the, the the backpack carriers can take you down in about two days time so yeah that's an option <laughs> <laughs> Trucking on. The sun finally came out, so maybe our our clothes are dry. How is your knee? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's like when you touch it, you can feel. I don't know if it's the nerves or it, what, but there's like something strange going on with it. My knee is wrapped up, there's like some cream on it and I took a torso in the morning and I'm using this stick for support but it's fine, it's fine, we can make it Okay In Fortnite, we can make it Nice <laughs> Your family is going to <laughs> like your answer Yeah, they're gonna like to see me walking, limping here with a cane <laughs> Watching this, tell me. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, there's a flower here. Look. What is this? Looks like. Oh, looks like Mon a disease. Yeah, monkey box. <laughs> Não morde, não? Se morde, se pega. Ah, Pero então? Pegar. Melhor não pegar, não. <risos> não, se, se deixa assim, não tem problema, não. Uau! <risos> Bacheco, que chamamos. Não sei como chamar em português. Nem sei, parece uma Primeiro. formiga gigante. <risos> alada, parece uma formiga alada. Sim. So update, uh, my knee, it's hurting a lot actually now, even on flat surfaces. So I'm going to do the rest of the trail by motorcycle, <laughs> yeah. So it's on the way now and like in about an hour or so I guess it'll be here. But it's actually like just like the last piece of the trail. It's I think one hour and a half, one hour flat and then um, half an hour descending, which is going to be like almost painful, but yeah. So you're going to see how it is to ride by motorcycle. <laughs>
foi. Já? Já. Despacito. Like a ninja. <laughs> Isso não. Oi. O que? Okay, você tem que descer e subir ah, <risos> usando teu joelho não é muito prático não. Crossing this bridge. Oh, it's 